Let's take a look at everything that was leaked, dropped, or announced during the month of June. Hey guys, it's Jedi Lex and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everything that was leaked, dropped, or announced during the month of June. And we do have a decent amount of things to cover, so let's jump right into it. So first I'll go ahead and start with Funko just like always because we did get a ton of announcements as well as some glimpses at some pops that are coming soon as well as a ton of rumors. So first up we are getting a bunch of Acolyte pops. So we're getting an Osha Anisea, a Chimere, a Yord Fandar, a Jedi Master Soul, and a Basil which I think those all look really cool. We're also getting an Amazon exclusive Bronze Darth Vader Funko Pop which I'm not too big of a fan of so I will be passing on that. We also got a glimpse at the San Diego Comic-Con Darth Vader, which I feel like has the potential to be very cool. However, the picture that we got is kind of hard to tell, but it does look really cool from what we can see. And then we're also getting a Darth Vader Lights and Sound 6-inch Halloween pop, which I think looks pretty cool, so we'll definitely have to check that one out. We also got a ton of rumors of some pops that are allegedly coming soon, and we have seen some of these rumors, but some of them are new. So first up, we have some Ahsoka pops, including Ahsoka the White, a Sabine helmeted with lightsaber, an Ezra with lightsaber, an Anakin with the red lightsaber, which I'm super excited about, and I hope that this rumor actually comes to fruition, an Ezra disguised exclusive. Then we also got some Knights of the Old Republic, including a Darth Malgus, a Darth Tyrannus, an HK-47, and a T-3 M4, which I am super excited about all four of those. I think they're going to be amazing. Then we have some Andor Pops, including Cassian Andor, a Luthan, a Marva, and a Kino Loy. Then we're supposed to be getting a Darth Vader comic cover, 1977, number 48, as well as the Mandalorian with Grogu, and then a Grogu stylized holiday pop, which is interesting. And the last rumor has a bunch of pops on there. So we have Emperor Palpatine with Force Lightning, Darth Maul with lightsabers, or dual lightsabers really, Count Dooku with Force Lightning, Darth Maul hooded and holographic, a 10-inch Emperor Palpatine, a deluxe Darth Vader first appearance, a deluxe Kylo Ren with Vader's helmet, which sounds amazing, and lastly, a pop ride of Darth Vader with his TIE fighter, so I hope all of these pops come true and that they're not just rumors. Now moving on to LEGO, we got three more sets that are confirmed to drop on August 1st, including the Dark Falcon, which is set number 75389, going for $179.99, and it will have six different minifigures, including a Darth Jar Jar, a Bounty Hunter C-3PO, a Darth Dev, a Darth Ray, a Beach Luke, and a Jedi Vader. We're also getting a TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup, which is set number 75393, and it's going for $109.99, and it will have four different minifigures and a McDonald's droid. Then we have a Creative Play Droid Builder set, which is number 75392, and it will also come with a 25th anniversary Young Leia minifigure with her droid, and this set is going for $99.99, and it will have a customizable R2-D2, a chopper, a QTKT, and an R5J2 droid that you can customize as you please. We also got a first look at a new Mon Cala clone supposedly coming August 1st as a part of the Jedi Bob Starfighter set number 75388 for $39.99. Then we have a Battle of Peridia, set number 75385, coming August 1st for $55, with 383 pieces, and it will have five different minifigures, including an Ezra, which we got some close-up images of. Then we got a first look at a new Neil minifigure based on the Skeleton Crew for the Skeleton Crew Starship, the Onyx Cinder, coming August 1st for $139.99. And then lastly, we finally got some images of the Buildable C-3PO set number 75. 5389 coming August 1st for $149.99. Now moving right along into Black Series, we do have a ton of figures that are coming soon, starting with the Mandalorian Shriekhawk Trainers Walmart Exclusive 2-Pack. We're also getting the Mandalorian Shriekhawk Target Exclusive. Then we're getting the Acolyte Osha Anisea. Then we're getting the Holocom Collection Ezra Bridger. 
Mei as the assassin, and then a Osha Anisea. We're also getting the Ahsoka Shin Hati. We're getting a New Hope Rebel Trooper and Storm Trooper. Then we also have the Darth Maul and Sith Speeder, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Very reminiscent of the early collectibles that we got, which have the original episode one packaging, so that looks really cool. And lastly, we have the Stranger's Helmet. It was also a huge month for the Vintage Collection as HasLab announced their new project, which is the Moss Eisley's Cantina, and if it gets enough backers, it will be supported, and then they need additional backers to kind of unlock some tiers of additional figures. However, we are finally getting the Tanaka Sisters, so I think that is a pretty big deal. Then we also have Osha Anisea from the Acolyte, and then we're also getting the Acolyte Retro Collection multi-pack of Mother Anisea, Jedi Knight Yord, Osha Anisea, Jedi Padawan Jeki, Mei, and Jedi Master Soul. We also got three items from Gentle Giants, including the Knights of the Old Republic Darth Revan Gallery statue, which looks absolutely phenomenal. We're also getting a Luke Skywalker Dark Empire Premier Collection statue. And lastly, the Clone Wars Captain Rex V2 Legends in Three Dimension bus, which looks absolutely phenomenal. As far as Sideshow goes, we did get three announcements, including a Darth Maul Collector's Edition, we're getting a Darth Maul Deluxe Edition, as well as an Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythos Premium Format figure, which looks absolutely amazing. And in regards to Hot Toys, we only got one announcement, which is a Droidica 6 scale figure, which looks really, really cool. There was also a bunch of announcements from the Micro Galaxy Squadron, including the Ghost with Minifigs, a Sith Infiltrator, Bo-Katan's Gauntlet Armada Edition, Harrison Dula's X-Wing, the Fang Fighter, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, as well as a Scout Class collection featuring all eight Series 4 vehicles. There was also two other miscellaneous items, including the Disney Dorables Ewok Village box set, as well as the San Diego Comic-Con Hot Wheels Star Wars Starship Select Royal Naboo Starship by Mattel. Now wrapping it all up, I always like to finish with comics. So first up we have Darth Maul Black, White, and Red number three, which has three variants. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Then we're getting Django Fett number four, which has three variants. We have the first one, which has C-3PO and R2-D2 on it for the Phantom Menace. This is number two and this is number three. Then we have Darth Vader number 47, which also has three variants. So the first one has Anakin and Watto on it for the Phantom Menace. This is the second one, and this is the third one. Then we have Star Wars number 47, and lastly, the High Republic Phase 3 number 8. So there you guys have it. That was everything that was leaked, dropped, or announced during the month of June, and it was another great month for collectors. We got a ton of stuff from Funko, Loungefly, Gentle Giants, Sideshow. We even got the HasLab project of the Moss Eisley's Cantina, which I know is a huge deal for collectors, but I'm always interested in hearing from you guys. So I'm wondering what you guys think of everything that was leaked, dropped, or announced during the month of June. Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys, but I think that pretty much does it for today's recap video, or really this month's recap video. So as always guys, thank you for watching my videos, I'll see you next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or even click to watch one of my other videos, and may the force be with you.